as you're finishing up praying, we're going to turn our attention to the Word of God. And uh, for this morning reading, we're going to begin reading the book of Mark. And uh, if you want his number in your pew Bibles, it's going to be, or your seats, not pew seats. It's going to be page 785. We're going to be reading the entire book of Mark. Can you please start with me? Chapter 1. Mark chapter 1. 785. Mark chapter 1. The beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as it is written in Isaiah the prophet. Behold, I send my messenger before your face, who will prepare your way, the voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. John appeared, baptizing in the wilderness and proclaiming the baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And all the country of Judea and all Jerusalem were going out to him, where being baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel hair and wore a leather belt around his waist and ate locusts and wild honey. And he preached, saying, After me comes who is mightier than I, the strap of whose sandal I am not worthy to stoop down and untie. I have baptized with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. In those days Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized, was baptized by John in the Jordan. And when he came out the water immediately he saw the heavens being torn open and the Spirit descending on him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my beloved Son with whom I am well pleased. The Spirit immediately drove him out into the wilderness and he was in the wilderness for 40 days being tempted by Satan and he was with the wild animals and the angels who were ministering to him now after John was arrested Jesus came into Galilee proclaiming the gospel of God and saying the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand repent and believe in the gospel passing alongside the sea of Galilee he saw Simon and Andrew, the brother of Simon, casting out a net into the sea for the fishermen. And Jesus said to them, Follow me, and I will, make you fit. I will make you become fishers of men. And immediately they left their nets and followed him. And going on a little further, he saw James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, who were in their boats, mending the nets. And immediately he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the boat with the higher servant following him. And they went into Capernaum, and immediately on the Sabbath he entered the synagogue and was, and was teaching. And they were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one who had authority and not as the scribe. And immediately there was in the synagogue a man with an unclean spirit, and he cried out, What have you to do with us? Jesus, son of Nazareth, Jesus of Nazareth, have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But Jesus rebuked him, saying, Be silent and come out of him. And the unclean spirit, convulsing him and crying out with a loud voice, came out of him. And they were all amazed, so that they questioned among themselves, saying, What is this? A new teaching with authority? He commands even the unclean spirit, and they obey him. And at once his face, fame spread out everywhere throughout the surrounding region of Galilee. And immediately he left the synagogue and entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Now Simon, mother-in-law, lay ill with a fever, and immediately they told him about her. And he, became, and he came and took her by the hand and lifted her up. And, they, and the fever left her, and she began to serve him. The evening, that evening, at sundown, they brought to him all who were sick or oppressed by demons. 
and the whole city was gathered together at the door. And he healed many who were sick with virus disease and cast out many demons. And he would not permit the demon to speak because Jesus, because they knew him. And rising very early in the morning, while it was still dark, he departed and went out to a desolate place. And there he prayed. And Simon and those who were with him searched for him. And they found him saying to him, Everyone is looking for you. And he said to them, Let us go, let us go on to the next town, that I may preach there also. For that is why I came out. And he went through all the all Galilee, preaching in the synagogue and casting out demons. And the lepers came to him, imploring and kneeling, saying to him, If you will, you can make me clean. Move with pity, he stretched out his hand and touched him. And he said to him, I will, I will be clean. And immediately the leprosy left him. And he was made clean. And Jesus sternly charged him and sent him away at once and said to him, See that you may do, see that you may say nothing to anyone, but go show yourself to the priest and offer your cleansing what Moses commanded for a proof to them. But he went out and began to talk freely about it and to spread the news so that Jesus could no longer openly enter a town but was out in a desolate place and people were coming to him from every quarter. This is the world.